maybe I just don't know what I'm doing, which is true. <laughs> most, most of us don't really know what we're doing. We're just trying to communicate with Mother Nature. And so I'm gonna make those couple of changes. My mission on this earth is to connect people to the magic of nature, to thrive physically and globally. Hi, my name's Hayley Weatherburn and welcome to Thriving With Nature. Hello! Climbing a tree? Hello Thrivers and welcome to this week's episode. I want to talk to you about um, some garden contemplations that I am currently going on in my head uh, and I will give you some close up footage of what I'm seeing. So let me give you a bit of a summary here. I've built this uh, beautiful veggie garden uh, and it has uh, a certain made up soil of, uh, we've got manure, uh, cow manure compost, horse manure compost, chicken manure compost, sawdust. Uh, it's got a bit of, it started with molasses and seaweed uh, and quite a few things in here and some normal soil compost. And what I'm finding here is the things that I've observed. Down this end, there is nowhere near as many weeds, right? Now, something that I observed up on the supplement, living supplement garden is Opposite, uh, same sort of thing and I wonder if it's actually the sun. It's the same pattern, it's the right hand side as opposed to the left hand side that's got more weeds. So one thing is I'm thinking about is sunshine a factor here and is that why there's more things growing. However, it's more weeds on this side but everything's still growing equally on both sides. So that just, I'm just interested in that. And the second is I'm finding that I have a lot of pests in this garden. You would call them pests but to me they're messengers. So my corn grew and it did very well until there was ants and think there's this black mess that I will show you um, and they're not doing well. I wouldn't be surprised if all of them end up dying. My red spinach, as you can see, have been completely eaten by grasshoppers. Uh, the tomatoes, they're, they're I haven't really given it love. I wanted to let this go wild. So the tomatoes have a white fly underneath the leaves. One of the cucumbers, since I cut the amazing cucumber off, that cucumber has died completely. And the other one's not looking too good. And I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's because I've gone for a week and haven't kept up the watering or what something else is going on in the soil. I do have some tomatoes, so there's a tiny little, there's only one tomato on this whole tomato plant. There's some more flowers. Uh, if I come down here, I did see some more, there's some more tomatoes up on this plant. And I cut down one of the corn stalks and I didn't realize that the tomato was leaning on it. So that was uh, a, a bit of a slip in my observation. The Brazilian spinach seems to be going okay and no pests on it. So it's really interesting. There's so many pests in here at the moment and the Brazilian spinach seems to be going okay. Oh, we've got an issue here. Oh gosh, the white flies are on the eggplants now. And if I look at my normal spinach, again, just grasshoppers eating it, not white fly. So it's fascinating for me. Here's another tomato that's, again, what's going on underneath the leaves. Yeah, there's so many white flies in here. <clears throat> so, you know, there's part of me that just wants to cut everything down and start again, but that's not the point. If I just start again, the same thing will happen if I'm not learning from it. What I do know is I need to attract the predator of the white fly and find out what this is that's on the corn. These black and these little white bugs. Um, so there's looking at the, the soil food web or the whole food web. So um, what predators are missing? Then it's what's the composition of the soil? I haven't put any worm light shading, in, which I am going to be putting in for a while. Something I never did with this was properly cover the soil. So I have a feeling that the microbes ended up uh, not doing as well as they could have. So I think what I'm going to be doing is cutting back what I see as the weeds here. Not, not pulling them out. I don't want to destroy the roots because that's attracting what's needed in the soil. 
but I want to cut it down and then I'm going to cover it with the rice, uh, the alang alang, like a mulch alang alang, so it, it covers the soil and really hydrates it. Because something I have noticed, especially over where the oh gosh, the snow, the butterfly pea died um, inside that box, it's really dried out, uh, and I think again because it wasn't covered, the soil wasn't covered, and so I need to add some more worm compost. And part of me is like, what do I do with these, these amazing spinach? And I'm kind of letting them go to seed because I'm hoping they are going to attract some, some animal. But I'm going to, I've cut down one or two, but I will cut some more down. And I think next time I need to start harvesting it as I go um, so that I can eat it in my salad. I hardly used any in my salad this time. And another thing I'm noticing is the passion fruit. There's something going on in this area with sun, not enough love. So I'm going to be interested to see what happens over the, the coming week. But anyway, these are, these are ponderings that it's natural human, or anyway for me, natural instinct to go, it's broken, I'm not doing a good job, um, I need to start again and maybe I just don't know what I'm doing, which is true. <laughs> Most, most of us don't really know what we're doing. We're just trying to communicate with Mother Nature. And so I'm going to make those couple of changes, cover the soil, get some more lichate, which has the nutrients in it. Uh, make sure I've got, I'm going to make a proper compost tea. I need bigger bubbles in my compost tea. And uh, see how we go and just observe from there. But yeah, if your garden is starting to, you, you think, you know, in your first go or whatever try, things aren't working it's not that you can't garden it's just it's communicating to you it's saying so this isn't bad or good it's just communicating something's going on in here that's not in balance and that's why there's a bit of out of imbalance of pests <clears throat> what looks like disease and things like that so there you go that's that's the contemplations um, let us know in the comments if you've had a garden that just suddenly over, you know, had so many pests and what you did to help it. Uh, and yeah, and if you know anything about white flies or the little things you see in my corn, feel free to comment. I want to learn everything I know about all these vegetables so that I can really have a flourishing garden here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe uh, so you can get more updates and join this journey of growing, of thriving with nature. Stay tuned for the next episode where I start to build the compost tea from the light shade and worm compost to help bring the pest garden back to balance. See you next week. For more information, you can visit thrivingwithnature.com.